My question is, which fasts in a year are high rewarding other than the fast of the month of Ramadan? But the Yasir Malik has asked that which fast the highest rewarding after the fast year. But natural, the Quran has mentioned very clearly that the fast which are fard for every Muslim who is an adult and if he has the means, if he is not sick, if he is healthy, if he is not traveling the conditions, it is fard for every Muslim that he or she should fast if she is an adult Muslim during the complete month of Ramadan. And if they're traveling or if the lady is menstruating or if they're unhealthy, then the moment they become healthy or she should compensate for the fast. So the fast in the month of Ramadan, the on every adult Muslim who and the fasting of of Arafah. These two are the most important fasting. The fasting of Arafah, the Prophet said, it expiates your sins of the previous year and the coming year. So the most important fasting after the fasting of month of Ramadan is the fasting on Arafah. That is the ninth Zilajah. But naturally, those who are doing Hajj, they don't have to fast. Those Muslims who are not doing Hajj, will fast after the fasting of Ramadan. The second most important fasting is the fasting of Ashura. That is on the 10th of Muharram. And the Prophet said that anyone who fasts on the fast of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, his sins of previous years are forgiven. But naturally in both the fast, it is said by scholars say, the sins what the Prophet referring is to the minor sins, not the major sins. For major sins, is tikfar, Forgiveness and repenting and repentance is compulsory. But for the minor sins, if you keep the fast of Arafah, your previous year, then the next year sins will be forgiven. If you fast during the fast of Ashura, your previous year sins are forgiven. And if you are alive, you would have fasted another day also. So besides the tenth of Muharram, fasting on the 9th or 10th is preferable. And the best according to Qayyum, the three levels of fasting of Ashura, the highest is fasting on all the three days, 9th, 10th and 11th of Muharram. The next is 9th and 10th or 10th and 11th and the least is only on the 10th. So as I mentioned, the most important fast is fasting of Arafah, then comes the Ashura fast. Then would be fasting on the 10 days of the Rajah, or the first nine days of, of Zulajja because our Prophet said that these 10 days, the deeds done on these 10 days are the most rewarded. The best days in the full year are the first 10 days of Zulajja and the Prophet said this hadith and, and the scholars say that the best 10 days in the full year even more than the last 10 days of Ramadan are the first 10 days of Zulajja and the best 10 nights of the full year are the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So in days, the most rewarding are the first 10 days of Zulajjah. And the Prophet said the deeds done during these 10 days are more rewarding and the most rewarding. And the Sahaba asked, is it more rewarding even than Jihad? The Prophet said, yes, even more than Jihad, unless a person goes out for Jihad and doesn't return back with his life or with his wealth. That means he is Shaheed or is all his wealth is gone. That is the only case which deed is more rewarding than the deed done on the first end of the Lajjah. But naturally the fasting on the first nine days of the Lajjah is very rewarding. That will be in order it would be four. Then fifth would be fasting on Ayam al -Bid. And Abu Huraira Mela al them said that my friend told me to do three things and I should not miss and that he said, that is Qiyamul Layl, that is fasting on Ayam will be three days and, and, uh, and reading Vitar. And reading Salatul Layl, one thing that is fasting on Ayam will be the three days and he said, the three white days are 13th, 14th and 15th. These days are when the white moon is full moon. 
and fasting on the Ayyamul Beed on 13, 14, and 15th of lunar month is highly recommended. And that's what Abu Huraira said, may Allah be pleased with him. And the Salat al Duha. Ayyamul Beed, of course, Ayyamul Beed of Ramadan is the Fard, it's not Mustab. But all the other days of Ayyamul Beed, the 11th, except the 13th of Zulijah, which is the Ayam al Tashrif, where fasting is prohibited. So besides one fast, that is 13th of Zulijah, where it is prohibited, in Ramadan 13, 14, 15 is Fard. All the other 11 months, except the 13th of Zulijah, the 13, 14, 15th of all the other months, it is highly recommended. After that, in the highly recommended fast, would be the fasting the six days of Shawwal. And the Prophet said, that if you fast in the month of Ramadan and follow it up with six days of Shawwal, it is as though you have fasted for the full year. And we know the hadith that the Prophet said every reward is multiplied by 10. So if you fast for one month and Allah rewards by 10, it becomes 10 months. So six days into 10 would be two months. So if you fast the six days of Shawwal after Ramadan, you have fasted for the full year. So in order of priority, this would be the next. The other sunnah fast is fasting on Mondays and Thursdays. And the people asked, why do you fast on Monday and Thursday? He said that on Monday the Prophet was born and the amal, the deeds taken up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Monday and Thursday and the Prophet said, I would want these when my deeds are taken, I am fasting during Thursday. There is a misconception that people think that the Prophet fasted all the Mondays and Thursdays. No, he did The hadith in which uh, Hadaisha said that he fasted three days in a month, Monday and Thursday, just in case if you miss the Ayyamul Beed on 13, 14, 15 because you are travelling or you have some work, you can keep on any other three days of the month. And the last Sunnah fast is fasting Dawud alayhi salam. When a person said that he wanted to fast the full year, the Prophet said, you cannot. Prophet said, you fast on Monday and Thursday. He said, that's not sufficient. I want to fast more. Then the Prophet said, you can fast the way Dawud alayhi salam fasted. And he fasted every alternate day. Fasting the full, all the days of the year is haram. Only fasting the full month of Ramadan is permitted. And the fasting which I mentioned is sunnah. If you want to fast more, you can fast every alternate days. So this these were in a nutshell the recommended fast that have been mentioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, have been mentioned by Allah's Rasul in various sahih hadith. Hope that answers the question.